Okay, so here's my attempt to run a pie. Uh, so far it's been a complete disaster. I've got everything hooked up. It does start up and it runs for about an hour sometimes and then it just dies. Like this thing just rebooted all by itself. Try to go to pages. It's frozen. Menu doesn't work. So I go in here. I have no choice but to pull the power. Wait. Set of time. Another thing too, it's quite warm. Quite warm in this box. Which is weird because we're we're at a campground and we got hookups and we don't even it's not even hot in here. But anyway, this is what it does. So I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get rid of the Pi system and buy a Serbo and a Touch 70 because this is so unreliable. So here we go. We're booking. See? Everything's hooking up. Everything's fine. It's starting to populate. Right? There's a photovoltaic charger great will pop up here in a second at least it did on the last reboot there it goes see everything's running and then boom shit just starts disappearing so <laughs> I tried the raspberry pi way a complete failure yes I could redo the SD card and do all that crap but I like to install something and just have it work and this this doesn't work my Ruby tags are working freezer fridge you'll notice though well I noticed that there's also a battery sensor it's a blue box and I've discovered it shows up from the inverter and then like, even if you st tap on inverter like nothing the clock is missing uh, there it goes oh, oh, oh rebooting crashed <laughs> yeah it's, it's not an impressive system I even went as far as ordered a, this is a Pi 3B. I even ordered a Pi 4, it's, it's in the mail, but I don't even think I'm gonna wait for that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy a Servo and a Touch 70. It's a nice attempt at trying to save some money, but Yeah, look at the clock, 2236. Wait, that even makes sense. Let's see if it populates again. Yeah, there it goes, populates. Look, it says float, everything's working. And then all of a sudden, I mean, you can even see the, the flow chart, right? It's all working. And then, just for no reason, just <clears throat> shuts off all by itself. So, for anybody looking to do uh, um, the Pi system, uh, I mean, it's not that reliable. Oh yeah, so like I was saying, so there is there is a sensor in this. So now I have to go into menu. 
have to find my multi plus and look where is it battery temperature 30 degrees okay now if I go back to the main screen there'll be a temperature box there for the battery and that comes and goes too all by itself it seems to be staying up right now but trust me within 10 minutes this thing will be shut off again and I actually am using the proper VE direct uh, USB conversion cables I don't have the the knockoffs they cost 40 bucks each but uh, yeah oh see there it goes <sighs> screwed up system man I'm going with the servo